Okay, this is um, from Ralph Myers, The Artist's Handbook of Materials and Techniques. Anybody who is doing traditional art, using traditional materials, this is not a book for the digital artist <laughs> at all. Um, you should have this book because it, it, it's got the answer to any question you might have on, to, on, on obviously, um, materials and techniques of variety of artistic endeavors. In this case we're talking about sizing. <clears throat> I am using uh, a high glue called Old Brown Glue which needs to be warm before application to size this canvas. And this is what Ralph has to say about sizing. Size is considered an absolute necessity Oil paint should never come into direct contact with the fiber or the canvas will rot. That is, eventually become weak, brittle, and crumbly. This has been known to artists for hundreds of years. Um, some of the earliest examples of oil paint on canvas are found to be thoroughly sized with aqueous glue. Water-based glue hide glue, for example. And that's what I'm going to be using. I turned off the overhead lights so you can see um, the folds that are still in this canvas. I, I chose not to uh, steam iron um, the canvas prior to uh, stretching it. Uh, however, these folds and things that you see uh, will be absolutely gone by the time the sizing dries. It'll be as tight as a drum. Of course, you could just use acrylic Gesso, uh, which is just basically a cheap version of um, acrylic white paint um, to seal the canvas from the oil paint. But uh, in the short term, it works just fine. It's also cheaper and quicker. And uh, any, any of those crappy canvases you buy at those big box stores will be done that way. Usually two coats of some crappy gesso on crappy canvas, on crappy stretchers, stapled together. Anyway, that's a rant for another day. <laughs> the trouble with, with just using acrylic gesso as you were uh, sizing plus priming step is that in the long run, if you happen to paint something that uh, becomes valuable uh, when it comes time to um, resize it when the canvas finally fails from the underside. Y you won't be able to reline them because the acrylic gesso sinks into the weave of the canvas. So that's there forever. You have to somehow I don't know how you would do it. Uh, you're, you're just stuck with whatever whatever the painting is at that point. There's no way to realign the canvas to replace it. Unless you just glue a brand new one on top of the old rotted one. I don't know. I'm sure there's there might be some art restoration experts out there who can steer me in the right direction on that. But the easiest way to realign a canvas is if it has a layer of aqueous glue sizing, which can be attacked from the rear, made liquid again, soft and liquid, allowing you to peel away the canvas, leaving just the paint. That's what I'm going to do here. I always start in the middle. and work my way out to the corners. I'm not 
putting any pressure on this canvas. I'm just moving the glue around. I'm probably going to do two coats because I'm going to miss certain areas. This first coat. And I want to make sure that there's an, an entirely perfect seal. Going over the edge because I don't know about you, but when I oil paint, the oil paint sometimes gets around the edge. I don't want there to be any rot along that edge. It still has some time left to completely dry, but you can see the magnet from the bottom. It's as tight as a drum. I think tomorrow I'll be able to put the first coat of, of oil-based primer on this. We're not using acrylic gesso for anything.